red. I should probably start by saying I haven't read the short story by Clive Barker, but I have talked with some people who have, and as far as I can tell, it's largely a close adaptation. The ending is different, and some changes have been made to the characters. Anyway, Stephen is a careful and shy film major in college. One night he meets Quaid, who suggests that they do a fear study. With the help of Cheryl, who is supposed to be editing this fear study, the three start interviewing subjects, having them talk about their deepest fears, trying to discover the nature of fear, try to learn whatever truths there are to discover about fear. This is a psychological thriller more than it is a horror film, and though there is very direct gore, bloody violence, and nudity, it really is more about the underlying, the subtleties, the hints. In spite of the fact that Quaid's fear, and this isn't a spoiler, we find out I think less than ten minutes into the film, his fear is basically a man with an axe. In spite of this, it is mostly about build-up and atmosphere. There is strong tension and suspense, and these are more the point than any bloodshed. As far as I can tell, this does capture the essence of Barker's short story. Please correct me on that, if I'm entirely wrong in the opinion of anyone who has both read it and watched this adaptation. It's filmed quite well. There are a few unorthodox angles. The camera is attached to the axe several times. It's edited well. The pacing is a tad stop and go at points, but this does tell the story in a fairly swift and smooth manner. It's only slightly under 90 minutes long, and it does manage to cover a nice amount of ground. No characters are No characters could, could really be written out without a real impact on the story. It's acted quite well. I don't really know these actors from anything else, but they all really get what their character what their character is about. There's also... Stephen's friend, Abby, who has a distinguished birthmark. I'll merely describe it as that. And you can really feel the impact it's made on her life. The, the characters and the behavior is largely psychologically accurate. The music is well chosen and fits. And I have now watched this twice and it does hold up pretty reasonably on multiple viewings. 
I think that is what there is to say about it. So, that was my spoiler for review of Dread. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.